All right, our next video is on the quote unquote ordinary case of the law of sines. Everything we've done so far has been on a right triangle, but unfortunately there exist triangles that are not right triangles. Now we could do what's called decomposing to right triangles. We could turn everything into a right triangle, but that's no fun. So we use the law of sines as a way to uh, look at triangles that are not right triangles. We'll also look at the law of cosines in the next video. You can find that link in the description. Actually, I probably won't put it there, but find it on my channel. Okay, we know that the longest side of a triangle is opposite the biggest angle, and the smallest angle has the smallest side as its opposite. But this isn't a linear relationship. It's not like if an angle is twice as big, its opposite side is twice as big as the other opposite side. They're related in this proportional way that the sine of the angle divided by the uh, length of the side should be in proportion. So the law of sines is always presented in books and online, is involving all three sides and all three angles, but we only ever use two sides and two angles at the same time. Uh, we might go back for, uh, say, side C at the end of a problem, but we'll probably just start by looking at A and B or B and C or A and C, not all three of them. You're going to have to look at what information you're given. In order to use the law of sines, you need to either have A side and its opposite angle, so like A and A, or you'll have to be able to find all of that information. So sometimes we'll use it after using the law of cosines, or sometimes we will know two angles and subtract from 180 to find a third angle. All right, enough talk. Here we go. So um, we've got a angle of 28 degrees, an angle of 102 degrees, and an angle or a side length of 8. Now we could subtract from 180 to find our third angle but that's actually not crucial right now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw and label a picture. If you're feeling like you don't want to draw and label a picture, ask yourself why not. If it's because it's challenging, it means you need practice. So then you're going to set up your ratios. You're going to look at two uh, angles and sides at a time and decide what you can find out. So for example, for this one, we will find side B first because out of the information we have, that's the only thing missing. We have A and A. We have big B, but we do not have little b. You're going to solve using cross multiplication. I've got the work on the next slide. So don't go on to the next slide until you're ready. You might need to pause the video. And here we go. All right. So you've drawn, you've labeled your picture. You figure out that angle C is 50 degrees. Your picture doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be the scale, but you should try. Okay, so we're going to solve using cross multiplication. I started by solving for B using cross multiplication. I'm almost always going to be in degrees when using the law of sines. Okay, and um, this is the sort of way that I find B. Now, we're generally going to give B as a value that'll be O. Um, rounded to one or two decimal places. So when we go on to find C, we're going to compare it to A because there are no rounded values in A and there would be rounded values in C. So what I want you to do is I want you to find C now and then check with your shoulder partner or anyone else in the room who's close to you and find that value. All right. We're going to go on to the next slide. Okay. So A equals 51 degrees, B equals 44 degrees, and C equals 11. See if you can solve this triangle. That means find all the sides and all the angles. All right, I'm going to show you some work in just a second, so pause the video while you work. All right, here it goes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a triangle. Now I measured out this triangle to make sure that it was right and my 51 degree angle is here, my 44 degree angle is there. That makes this 85 degrees 
and the 11 goes opposite that, it's really helpful to label. Remember lowercase letters for sides, capital letters for angles. Okay, when you solve this one using cross multiplication, you get A equals 8.58 and B equals 7.67. That should be enough on the basic law of sines questions. We'll be back for law of cosines and law of sines ambiguous case. Thanks for watching.